Yo, Ben here. In my last video on Hass.io, I briefly mentioned setting up SSH. Today, we're taking it slow, and we'll walk you through the setup. Let's get to it. Okay, the first thing you should do is download the SSH add-on inside of Hass.io. Now, before you hit start, you need to change the configuration. You have two options. First, you can fill in a password. This will be the password that you'll need to type in when you connect to Hass.io over the terminal interface. If you installed Home Assistant before, then you are likely using this method. It's not as secure as using a key file, but it does work fine. If you haven't already, you'll need to download an application called Putty. There are obviously other terminal interfaces you can use, so if you have an interface that you prefer, you're welcome to use that, but I'm gonna be talking exclusively about Putty for the rest of this video. Once you have Putty open in the host name field, you'll need to type hasio.local. For the port, use port 22, and then make sure you're using SSH. You can give it a name and hit save to create a profile so you don't have to remember this information each time you wanna log into your Pi. Once you do that, you can just click open. At this point, two windows will probably pop up. The first one will ask if you wanna accept the new key file, which you can just say yes, and then the other one will be the terminal interface. For the username, use root. And then for the password, use the password you just set in Hass.io. At that point, you're off and running. Now, your other option is to use a key file. It's much more secure because you're only able to log into your Pi if you have access to that physical file. And using a key file isn't that much more complicated. When you downloaded Putty, it probably came with a utility called PuttyGen. Once you open that, there should be a button to create a new key file. In the box, move your mouse a bunch of times randomly to generate the new key. Once your new key has been created, you can hit the Save Private Key button to download the private key onto your computer. Go ahead and give this a name and store it somewhere where you'll be able to keep it for a while. If you lose this key, you won't be able to log into your Pi. With the file downloaded, go back to PuttyGen and select all of the text that's in the box and copy it. Then, going back to Hass.io, check the box that says Reset to Defaults. Then, in between the brackets on the authorized key line, paste all of that key information inside of quotation marks. At that point, go ahead and hit Save, and then hit Start to start the SSH add-on again. Going back to Putty, you'll still connect to your Pi using the hostname hasio.local at port 22 over SSH, but you'll need to link your private key file. To do that, go to Connection, expand SSH, and then click on authorization. In the private key for authorization line, go ahead and click browse, and navigate to the private key that you downloaded from PuttyGen and select it. Now, before you hit open, you can go back up the list on the left and click session. You can give these configuration settings a new name and then hit save so you don't have to remember it each time you log into your Pi. Once you do that, you can go ahead and hit open. It may ask you to accept a new key file, and if it does, just hit yes. And then in the terminal window that pops up, you can log in with the username root. It won't ask for a password because the authorization is done through that key file. And after that, you're good to go. You can go ahead and use any of the Hass.io CLI commands by saying Hass.io help, and you can see a list of everything that's available. Anyway, I hope this video helped people who needed a little bit more information on setting up SSH for Hass.io. If this video helped you, drop a like. And if you haven't yet, definitely hit that subscribe button because there is a lot more coming soon. Super excited about it. Uh, but until then, happy automating.